welcome to Little Things. I'm Elise and I make beginner crochet tutorials and sometimes vlogs and lifestyle on YouTube. I post a lot of free easy patterns on my Instagram including this bear coaster and it's at littlethings.crochet. For more advanced patterns such as cat paw or muffy pouch, I sell them on Etsy which I've linked down below. Reminder to watch the whole intro because I'm gonna go through the materials, also some notes for the pattern. This bear coaster is such a perfect project for a beginner because one, it doesn't look intimidating at all. I'm sure everyone watching right now could do it. Second, it consists of mostly the same stitch as you can see. So once you get the hang of it, I'm 100% sure you can do the whole thing. The only challenging part here is probably the ear, but I'll go very very slow so don't you worry. If you would like to sell the finished products, you can absolutely do so as long as you credit me as a pattern creator. And the best app for selling your crochet products and build your own website is with Universe. My favorite thing about Universe is how user-friendly it is. Universe is a drag and drop app for creating websites where you can pick your personalized domain and customize your website. There's so many website templates for you to choose from, which makes your job so much easier. Everything is very self-explanatory. There's tons of features such as doodling, changing background, adding photos, and adding buttons to redirect people to other links such as your YouTube channel or your Etsy. And if you're not planning to sell, it's also perfect for the link in bio or to make a crochet journal to connect with your community. Another really cool feature is that it has AI assistance, which means if you have zero inspiration for your website, you can literally ask AI to build a whole website for you according to your liking. If you're based in the US, Universe Sell Block allows you to start selling your creations in minutes. Universe is free, but you can jump to Universe Pro to remove Universe branding and get your own custom.com domain, make discount codes, and unlock so many other cool features. You can go check out my link in the description box and get started with Universe today. Now let's talk about the materials. I'll be using 8 ply yarn and 3.5 millimeter hook, but you can use any size yarn with the corresponding hook size. I'll also be using darning needle, stitch marker, and scissors. So without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. First grab our yarn, and then we're gonna start by making a magic circle or a magic ring. First, we're gonna grab the yarn with our right hand, and then with our left hand, I'm pointing up two fingers, my index finger and my middle finger. Then I'm going to wrap the yarn around my two fingers twice. So I place the yarn on top of my two fingers and then go under and then on top again. And then we're gonna look at it from the back. We're gonna bring the end of the yarn to the palm of our hand and then hold it with our thumb. And then for the working yarn, I'm gonna hold it with my ring finger and pinky. Then you can see that there will be a cross at the bottom and then a parallel line on the top. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to insert our hook under the first loop here. So go under it and then grab the second loop with our hook and then pull it through the first loop. And after pulling it through, we're gonna twist it clockwise so just twist our hook like this. Then see this working yarn here, which is held by my ring finger and pinky. I'm going to yarn over. To yarn over, I'm going under the yarn, the working yarn, and then going on top. And once you've grabbed it, you're gonna pull it through the loop on your hook. Just like this. And now this is our magic ring. To adjust the size of the magic ring, we're going to pull the tail here. And we want it to be a little bit smaller, and that should be fine. And then now we're going to start our round one. And I would say that round one to round four is very easy, since it's very repetitive and it's the same stitch all over. Whereas the ears might be a little bit challenging for beginners, but I think it's a good practice because for the ears, there is different basic stitches that are very crucial if you want to get into crocheting. So I think this is a good start. So yeah. So the way I'm holding the yarn, I am just placing the working yarn on top of my three fingers and then grab it. And then I'm going to go behind and around my index finger and then hold my piece with my middle finger and thumb. And mind you that the index finger should always be pointed up. And the way I'm holding my hook is like how I'm holding a pen, so like how I'm writing. 
and sometimes I would um, my middle finger would go onto this side of the hook and then just kind of adjust the loops on it so it's easier. So yeah, that's how I hold my yarns and hook. So now let's start round one. So for round one, we're going to chain two. And as you can see, there is a V connected to the magic ring already and that counts as one chain. So we just need to chain one more to have a total of two chains. So to chain, we're going to yarn over. To yarn over, we're going to bring our hook to the back of the yarn and then on top and over like this. And then now we have grabbed our working yarn. Now we're gonna pull it through the loop on our hook. We just pull like this. And as you can see, there is the second V here and there's a total of two chains. Now we're gonna make our first double crochet. To make a double crochet, we're going to start by yarning over first. So bring our hook to the back of the working yarn and then over and on top, grab it like this. So basically you've wrapped your working yarn around your hook. Then we're going to insert our hook into the magic ring. So I'm just going to place it into the magic ring. And as you can see for the tail here, it is also caught on my hook. And this step is very important because we need to close up the magic ring later. So make sure that the tail is on your hook as well. After that, we're going to yarn over. To yarn over, bring our hook to the back of the yarn and then on top. Now we've grabbed it. Now we pull it through the magic ring and that would bring up a loop. And now we have three loops on our hook. And first we're going to yarn over and then pull through just the first two loops. Now we yarn over, bring the hook on top of the working yarn, and then now we're gonna pull through just the first two loops. So I pulled through the first loop, and then the second loop. Now we're left with two loops on our hook. We yarn over, so bring the hook behind and then over and on top. Then pull it through the rest of the two loops, just like this. And this is our very first double crochet. Now we're going to get our stitch marker. Since this is the first stitch, we're going to mark it to indicate that it's the first stitch so we don't forget. So as you can see here, if you look at your piece on the top, there will be a V. And the V that's right above the double crochet is where we're going to be inserting our stitch marker into. So like here. And if you look it up from the side, there is three Vs. So the bottom two is the chain two, and then the top one is the stitch. Now we're gonna repeat this for a total of 12 times. So we have 12 double crochet in this magic ring. So to do a double crochet, it's the same thing. Yarn over first, bring our hook to the back of the working yarn and then on top and wrap the yarn around your hook once then insert your hook into the magic ring, including the tail, and then yarn over, and then pull it through the magic ring. Now we got three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over again, then pull it through just the first two loops. So the first loop and then the second loop. Now we have two loops left on our hook. We're going to yarn over and then just pull it through the rest of the two loops, just like this. Let me demonstrate it one more time. Yarn over, basically wrap the yarn around your hook once, and then insert our hook into the magic ring. Remember, the tail is also caught on our hook, and then yarn over again, and then pull it through the magic ring to bring up a loop. Now we have three loops on our hook. We yarn over, and then pull it through just the first two loops, now we're left with two loops on our hook, yarn over, and then pull it through the rest of the two loops, just like this. So to do it again, yarn over, and then place our hook into the magic ring, and then yarn over again, pull it through the magic ring, then that would bring up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over, bring the hook to the back and on top of the working yarn, then pull it through the first two loops only, now we're left with two loops on our hook, we yarn over, pull it through the rest of the two loops, just like this. And then I'm going to demonstrate it one last time. So yarn over, 
and then insert our hook into the magic ring and then yarn over again pull it through the magic ring and that will bring up a loop and there is a total of three loops on our hook yarn over and then pull it through just the first two loops and then you could do it slowly if you struggle to pull it through the loops then we're left with two loops on our hook yarn over and then pull it through the first at uh, the rest of the two loops just like this basically we're going to repeat this until we get 12 double crochet so we've already done five double crochet and it's the exact same thing we're gonna do seven more So I have made 12 double crochet and to count, you can either count on the side like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or you can look at your piece from the top and then you can see a bunch of V's and each V represents one stitch so you can either count the V or count the stitch itself. Also if you struggle to make the stitches, you can rewatch the beginning of the video where I showed how to do the stitches very slowly and it's basically the same thing. Now we're going to close up this gap in the middle and to close it up, we're gonna pull this tail over here. Just gonna pull it and then the, the gap would automatically close up. So after it's closed up, as you can see, there is still a opening. It's still not a complete circle yet. We're going to join to the very first stitch to close up this circle. So place our hook back into the loop. And then now we're going to do a slip stitch to the very first stitch to join and complete the circle. Where the stitch marker is, is the very first stitch. So this actually makes it easier for us. Now you just need to insert your hook into the stitch marker. The stitch in the stitch marker. After inserting into the same stitch as the stitch marker, we can take the stitch marker off. And then now we're gonna do a slip stitch. To do a slip stitch, yarn over first, and then pull it through the stitch. And then with the loop that we have pulled up, which is the loop on our left, we're gonna pull it through the loop on our right, like this. After that, we need to tighten it, and this step is very important, or else we'll mistaken the slip stitch as an extra stitch. So to start round two, we're going to start by chaining two and the chain two actually gives height for the double crochet. So to chain, yarn over and then pull it through the loop on our hook. And then for the second chain, yarn over and then pull it through the loop on your hook. And now on the side, you can see there is two Vs, which means chain two. Now we're gonna make our very first double crochet. It's the same stitch, so yarn over first and then insert our hook into the very first stitch and if you don't know where the very first stitch is just look at where the chain two is coming from and just go to that stitch and when you're inserting your hook make sure you're going through the v we're going to continue with the double crochet yarn over pull it through the stitch and that will bring up a loop now we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull it through just the first two loops and then we're left with two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull it through the rest of the two loops on our hook. And since this is the very first stitch, I don't know if you remember or not, but for the very first stitch, we need to place our stitch marker. So basically just place the stitch marker on the V that's right on top of the double crochet. So if you look at your stitch from the top, there is a V. And if you look at it from the side, there is three Vs. The bottom two is the chain two and the top one is the stitch. So make sure you insert it into the right one. And then also you need to go through the whole of the V. So basically both loops. We're gonna continue with our round two. And for round two, since our circle is going to expand, for each stitch, it's going to be an increase. So, so what is an increase? An increase is essentially placing two stitches in one stitch. So we have already placed one 
double crochet and one stitch and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna place another double crochet here in the exact same stitch so for one stitch there will be two double crochet coming out and then the other stitch there will be two double crochet coming out and like this so the increase actually would expand our circle so it would like be a flat circle so now let's do the second double crochet in the very first stitch and don't worry, the double crochet is the same stitch as always. So to do a double crochet yarn over, and then we're going to insert our hook right into the stitch that we just did a double crochet. So here, and then just insert it through, then yarn over, pull it through. Now we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and then pull it through just the first two loops first loop and then the second loop. Now we're left with two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and then pull it through the last two loops. And as you can see here, this is one stitch and then there is actually two double crochet coming out from one stitch. So this is an increase. We're gonna do this for a total of 12 times until we reach the last stitch. So for the second one, we're going to yarn over and then place and then insert our hook into the next stitch. To see the next stitch, it's basically the next V from the previous stitch. So here is the next stitch. So yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, which is the next V. And as you can see, I'm going through a V. So both loops of the V. Then yarn over, pull it through. Now we have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull it through just the first two loops, first one and the second one. Now we're left with two loops on our hook, yarn over and then pull it through the last two loops. And then this is our first double crochet for the increase. So we're going to do another double crochet in the exact same stitch. So yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch. Yarn over again, pull it through. Now we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and then pull it through just the first two loops. First loop and the second loop. We're left with two loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull it through both loops. For the third increase, it's the same thing. So yarn over, insert our hook into the third stitch. So basically the V that's right next to the previous stitch. So this V just insert it and make sure you go through the whole V then yarn over pull it through the stitch to bring up a loop yarn over pull it through both loops and then now we're left with two loops on our hook yarn over pull it through the rest of the two loops and this is the very first stitch for the increase Let's finish the other half, place another double crochet into the exact same stitch. At this point, I think everyone is kind of familiar with how to make the double crochet, so I'm just not going to explain it that detailed like I did in the beginning. But if you're still um, not sure how to make it, you can rewatch the beginning and be familiar with the stitch first. And then for the fourth increase, it's the same thing. Insert your hook into the next stitch, basically placing two double crochet in the exact same stitch here. So I'm going to place the first one. And then I'm going to place my second one, second double crochet in the exact same stitch. For the th fifth one, it's the same thing. Make sure you go through the both of the both of the loops of the V. We're going to repeat this until we reach the end of the round. So continue placing two double crochet in the same exact stitch and then we'll have a total of 24 stitches.
So I have finished round two and then I have 24 stitches. And to count, if you have 24 stitches, you can count with the number of feet or the stitches itself. And stitch counting is very important. If you have a wrong stitch count, you have to redo the whole thing. And to redo, you basically pull out the working yarn and then redo the whole thing. And then if you have 24 stitches, then we can move on. So now we're going to close up the circle. And if we remember how to close it up, basically we insert a hook into the very first stitch, which is where the stitch marker is at. So basically insert into the stitch, take the stitch marker, then do a slip stitch, do a slip stitch, yarn over, pull it through the loop on your hook, and also pull it through the loop on your hook. Then, as you can see, it creates a V. That might be mistaken as a stitch, so to avoid that, we need to pull it really tight. This step is very, very important. I cannot stress this enough. As you can see here, the st slip stitch is kind of like very tiny and you can't really see it like over here. So we can make sure that we don't mistaken it as a stitch. Now let's go ahead and start round three. First, we're going to start by chaining two. So yarn over first, pull it through the loop on your hook. Then yarn over again, pull it through the loop on your hook. For round three, there will be increases around um, round three as well but there will be also one double crochet at a time. So the sequence for round three is that we're gonna place the first double crochet in the very first stitch, and for the second double crochet, there will be an increase. For the third stitch, there'll be one double crochet, and then for a fourth stitch, it is double crochet increase, and this sequence goes on. So one double crochet, double crochet increase, double crochet, double crochet increase, double crochet, double crochet increase. I think everyone got the gist, so let's start. So basically make the very first double crochet in the very first stitch, and to find the first stitch, basically go into the stitch that the chain is connected to. Basically, it's attached to the very first stitch. Go into that stitch. Make sure you go through the both V. Then place a double crochet. This is our one double crochet in one stitch. Then for the second one, it's going to be an increase. So an increase is what we did in round two, two double crochet in one stitch. So let's place our very first double crochet in the increase stitch, basically the next stitch. So place the first double crochet first. And then we're going to do another double crochet in the exact same stitch. So going back into the same stitch here, and then place a double crochet. Now we need to place one double crochet in the next stitch. So just for the next stitch here, insert your hook into the stitch, place a double crochet. And then for the next stitch, it is an increase. So two double crochet in one stitch. So first insert your hook into the stitch then place the first double crochet for the increase. Since we need a total of two, we're going to place another one in the exact same stitch. So I'm going back into the exact same stitch that I did before, placing another double crochet in that stitch, just like this. And as you can see, we can see a pattern of one double crochet, double crochet increase, one double crochet, double crochet increase. Then the pattern goes on until the end. Also guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you guys to insert your hook, insert the stitch marker in the very first stitch, but it's okay. It, we're still, we're still very beginning. We're still in the very beginning like this. Then we're going to continue. So we're up to the one double crochet in a stitch. So going into the next stitch, place one double crochet. Then it's followed by a double crochet increase. So for the next stitch, place two double crochet. 
my first double crochet and then my second double crochet going back into the same stitch and this goes on for the rest of the round one double crochet double crochet increase one double crochet double crochet increase you should have a total of 36 stitches so let me just finish up this round and this is very repetitive so i'm not going to show you the whole thing because um it is just what i've showed you in the beginning basically repeating it for the rest of the round and also if you made a wrong stitch basically pull the working yarn slowly and then just get back into the stitch you need to work on and just like this and continue crocheting now i have finished my round three and i'm going to join to the very first stitch to start round four so insert my hook into the very first stitch here like this and then remove the stitch marker then do a slip stitch yarn over pull it through the stitch pull it through the loop on your hook as well and tighten it now for round four we're going to chain two so yarn over pull it through the loop on your hook yarn over pull it through the loop on your hook so the sequence is starting with an increase first in the very first stitch then fold by two individual double crochet so one double crochet and then the other double crochet then it is increase and then two individual double crochet increase two individual double crochet like this so let's start so first place our very first double crochet in the first stitch the stitch that the chain two is connected to so i've played my first stitch and since the first stitch needs to be an increase place another double crochet in the exact same stitch Then for the following two stitches, it is just going to be one double crochet at a time. So the next stitch, which is the next V, one double crochet in one stitch, then another one double crochet in one stitch, just like this. Then it is followed by an increase. So insert your hook into the next stitch place the first double crochet place the second double crochet in the exact same stitch to make an increase just like this now it's followed by two individual double crochet going to this next stitch and then place just one double crochet one double crochet here and the second individual double crochet i i again i forgot to and then we have repeated this pattern twice now for the third time we start with the increase so going to the next stitch place a double crochet increase so going back into the same stitch place another double crochet I've made an increase now, then it's two individual double crochet. So I've made my first double crochet next to the increase, then the second double crochet, and the next stitch as well, just like this. So as you can see here, double crochet increase, individual two double crochet, double crochet increase, two individual double crochet, and double crochet increase to individual double crochet we're going to repeat this until the end of the round and we should have a total of 48 stitches so i finished my round four and it ended on my second individual double crochet now we're going to join to the very first stitch so insert your hook 
into the very first stitch where the stitch marker is at then remove the stitch marker and do a slip stitch to do a slip stitch yarn over pull it through the stitch and also pull it through the loop on your hook and then tighten it now congratulations you have a circle and we're going to make the bear ears now and the ears might be a little bit harder than the double crochet stitch but honestly if you could do the circle and i'm 100 percent sure you'll be able to do the bear ears and i'll go extra slow for the ears i think this is a very good start for beginners to learn about all the basic stitches because it is very like common to see these stitches so so first we're gonna start by doing a single crochet in the very first stitch to do a single crochet it is a very tiny stitch it is half of the length of the double crochet so you know how for double crochet we need to yarn over before inserting our hook but for single crochet we don't need that so we just need to insert our hook into the next stitch we do not need chaining or anything just insert it into the next stitch which is the v closest to um, the loop on your hook then after inserting your hook yarn over just like how we did before grab the working yarn then pull it through the loop on your hook and pull it through the stitch sorry now we have two loops on our hook we yarn over then pull it through both loops on our hook and this is our single crochet as you can see single crochet it's tiny it's very small then it's followed by a double crochet now we've done double crochet all over the piece so i'm sure i don't need to explain it so just do a double crochet in the next stitch here then it's followed by three treble crochet in the exact same stitch in the next stitch so for a treble crochet it is a bit taller than a double crochet if you could do double crochet I'm sure you could do treble crochet as well so first we yarn over before inserting a hook Instead of yarning over once, we're going to yarn over twice. So after yarning over the first time, do it again. So now the yarn has wrapped around your hook for two times. Then insert your hook into the next stitch here. Just go into the stitch, then yarn over, just like how we did before, just like the double crochet. Pull it through the stitch to bring up a loop. The only thing that's different is that there is a total of four loops on your hook instead of three, unlike double crochet. And now we're going to yarn over and then just pull through the very first two loops. So the first loop and the second loop. Now it is the same as double crochet, so we are left with three loops on our hook, yarn over, treat it as a double crochet, pull through the first two loops, now we're left with two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull it through the last two loops, just like this. Now as you can see, treble crochet is taller than a double crochet, that's why you need to wrap around twice. So we need two more treble crochet in the exact same stitch. So let's do it again. Yarn over once, twice, then insert a hook into the exact same stitch that you did your previous treble crochet in. And then yarn over, pull it through the stitch to bring up a loop. Now we have four loops on our hook. We yarn over, pull it through just the first two loops. Now we left we're left with three loops on our hook yarn over pull it through just the first two loops we're left with two loops on our hook yarn over pull it through two loops on our hook so basically you just yarn over and pull through two loops at a time so to do it again that's our last triple crochet in the exact same stitch so yarn over once and for the second time then insert our hook into the exact same stitch then yarn over, pull it through the stitch. Now we're left with four loops on our hook. We yarn over and pull through just two loops at a time. So yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now we're left with three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. 
we're left with two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through the last two loops, just like this. And then now for the next stitch, it is just going to be um, a reverse of the beginning stitches. So we do a double crochet in the next stitch, next V. So to do a double crochet, uh, we yarn over just like that and then insert it into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through the stitch. Now we got three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull it through the first two loops. We're left with two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull it through the rest of the two loops. And then now for the next stitch, it is going to be a single crochet. To do a single crochet, it is the shortest stitch. So we do not need to yarn over beforehand. We just need to insert our hook right away. Then yarn over, pull it through the stitch. Now we have two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull it through both loops on our hook, just like this. So we've done our first ear and then we're just going to do a total of eight slip stitches to the left and these slip stitches actually transfer our hook to this part of um, the piece so we can do our second ear over here. So insert our hook into the next stitch and then do a slip stitch. For this slip stitch, we do not need to tighten it. We do want the slip stitch to be mistaken as a stitch because um, if you have like tight knots on top of the stitch, it's gonna look weird. So just do a slip stitch. So to do a slip stitch, yarn over, pull it through the stitch, then also pull it through the loop on your hook and do not tighten it. So as you can see here, it is very loose. It literally has a V on top. That's what we want for this time. This is our first slip stitch. Go into the second slip stitch, uh, second stitch and place another slip stitch to yarn over, pull it through the stitch and then pull it through the loop like this. So we've done two slip stitches. We're gonna do a total of eight. And then for the next slip stitch, insert your hook into Next stitch, yarn over, pull it through the stitch, pull it through the loop on your hook, like this. So insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through the stitch, also pull it through the loop on your hook. Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull it, yarn over, pull it through the stitch, also pull it through the loop on your hook. Again, until we reach eight slip stitches let me just count it so after making eight slip stitches we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side of the ear so first we're gonna start by making the shortest shortest stitch which is the single crochet so insert our hook into the next stitch like this then yarn over pull it through the stitch now we got two loops on our hook yarn over and then pull it through both loops on our hook just like this then for the second stitch we're gonna do a double crochet so yarn over insert our hook into the next stitch yarn over again pull it through now we've got three loops on our hook yarn over pull it through the first two loops then yarn over pull it through the last two loops then it is the treble crochet stitch remember we're going to do three treble crochet in the exact same stitch so to do a treble crochet I hope you guys remember this for travel crochet we need to yarn over it twice so yarn over once and the second time then insert our hook into the next stitch here just insert it then yarn over pull it through the stitch now we got four loops on our hook yarn over and pull it through the first two loops at a time so pull it through the first two loops then we're left with three loops on our hook treat it as a double crochet yarn over also pull through the first two loops same thing and then for the last two loops yarn over pull it through now again yarn over twice insert our hook into the stitch yarn over again 
pull it through the stitch, we got four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull it through the first two loops at a time. So yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And then we're left with two loops, yarn over, pull through the rest of the two. We need to do our last treble crochet. So yarn over twice, insert our hook into the exact same stitch. Yarn over again, pull it through. Now we have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull it through the first two loops. And then yarn over, pull it through the first two loops. Then yarn over, pull it through the rest of the two loops. Then for the next stitch, it is a double crochet, so just yarn over once, insert a hook into the stitch, yarn over again, pull it through, then we got three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the rest of the two loops. Now for the next stitch, it is a single crochet, so insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, Pull up a loop, now we got two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull it through both loops on our hook. Now to end this project, I'm going to slip stitch on the next stitch, so insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through the stitch, and also pull it through the loop on your hook. And then for this time you need to tighten it because we need to fasten off. So tighten it and then pull a big loop. And just go ahead and cut the loop. Now we're going to weave in and to weave in basically we're going to hide these two tails. So I'm gonna grab this tail then I'm gonna thread it through my darning needle. What we're gonna do is that we're going to hide the tail into the stitches so that no one can see the tail. So first we're going to do the weaving in part at the back of the piece so you can just insert it like over here no one is gonna see the back of the piece and the main purpose is to just hide it <laughs> like that's literally it so just go through it loop by loop on the back piece and remember when you're going through the loop make sure you cannot see your needle at the front or else um, if you can see your needle that means when you pull it through the end is gonna show up from the front piece so make sure that you're only going to the back loops only. And then after that, I'm just gonna pull it through. Then after hiding it in the stitches on the back, I'm just going to cut it here. And then I'm gonna do the same for the magic ring. I literally just go through like random loops on the back because no one's gonna see it anyway so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just cut it at the end. And this is your finished product and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And remember to tag me in your finished product. I'll definitely see it if you do it on Instagram. Remember to subscribe and turn on notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new beginner tutorial. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!